What's up guys, welcome back to another exciting Apex Legends video. Today, I'm bringing you my updated ALC Predator settings, guys. It's been a highly requested video from everybody on TikTok and uh, in the YouTube comments. So big shout out to all the support that you guys have given me on both platforms. Um, it's been absolutely insane. You guys have been frying with these settings. So I'm gonna show you the exact numbers. A couple updates ago, Apex released an update showing the numbers. So I'm gonna break down all of this stuff in this video. So let's hop right into it. All right, now we're gonna hop right in guys so i want to say that these settings are both going to work for console and pc okay it's the same exact settings i have in the last video which i'll link above if you haven't checked that out check it out but it just seemed like a lot of people had um difficulty with the number of ticks that i went up or down on my settings so i'm just going to break all of it down in this video and you guys get to see the numbers so i'm not going to go through everything again because it's all the same stuff from uh the same season that we're in in season eight so I'm just going to show you a couple of things that I've changed in my settings. I'm not going to go through an entire breakdown of everything. I'm just going to show you some of the stuff that I've changed, and then I'll show you the ALC settings and how to get to it. So on the gameplay thing, the only thing I changed here, guys, was colorblind mode. I changed it to Tronopia. I really like it. It makes it a whole lot easier to find my targets inside of dark areas, bang smoke, caustic gas. It just makes it a whole lot easier to see my targets. And just, you know, with the hollow points, it just makes them a little bit easier to shoot and hit. So my accuracy has gone up considerably by changing this. You could probably do uh, Pro Tenopia, but I just, I like Tenopia a lot better. It just makes it a lot easy. The colors are more vibrant. So it just makes it a little bit better in those dark areas again, guys. So definitely give that a, a try going um, forward in your settings. Next, let's get over to controller. So the first thing I want to point out is the survival button, okay? Survival button, this was added during the Caustic event where you have a survival slot in your inventory for the mobile respawn beacons and the heat shields. Now, normally if you have this on, left on the D-pad was to access that item, okay? But the problem with that was is that left on the D-pad also inspected your item or inspected or did your little kunai twist on your heirlooms for your legends. So if you turn this off, this allows you to inspect your weapons again and do your little tricks with your heirlooms because who doesn't want to see those animations man i mean unless i'm in a hardcore ranked match you know i don't care to have this on i did have it on for ranked for the heat shields but otherwise turn it off and have fun with those animations guys so next is you're going to look on the screen you're not going to see the alc indicator it's just not here right they took it away i'm not sure why like it's some kind of big prank but you can still see my alc uh, settings are enabled i'm not sure why they got rid of this but for those that don't know all you're going to do is just use the d-pad go down to vibration and you're going to press down on the d-pad one more time and you'll see alc controls find two specific aspects of look controls for a custom feel and it disables some basic settings when enabled when you see that all you're going to do is press x and then it opens up your custom controls i'm not sure why they took that away it's the most bizarre thing i've ever seen but they did it, but that's how you get to it if you guys didn't know. So going through here, they updated this with the percentages for, you know, for to just to make it easier for people who use ALC settings. So again, guys, I apologize if I didn't make it clear enough in the last video, but let's go through the settings. So that way you guys can have the exact percentages on my settings. So dead zone, 3%, outer threshold, 1%. Response curve is 10, which is default. Excuse me, y'all speed is 320. Pitch speed is 180. Turning extra yaw speed is 250 to the max. Everything else is 0%. You're going to go down to your ADS yaw and pitch speed um, settings, which is 140 over 92. And then everything else is 0. And then please, for the love of God, make sure you did not turn target compensation and melee target compensation off. This is your aim assist. Please have that on. I don't care what any mouse and keyboard players say. ALC or excuse me, uh, aim assist is absolutely insane, but feel free to play with it without if you want. Hey, but here are the percentages, guys. If you want to take a take a chance, just, you know, pause the video, copy these settings. You know, uh, I've been getting a lot of feedback in the comments from the video and on TikTok, guys, that you guys have been absolutely slaying and just destroying lobbies with these settings. So thank you guys so much for all the support that you've given on these settings. And again, if you use this as a baseline and then adjust it as you needed to, thank you guys so much for using these but pause the video copy them guys and then uh you know let me know down in the comments how you're still slaying with these settings let me know if this really did help you 
So uh, that's going to do it for today's video, guys. It's just a quick update to the settings. This video will be up here in a little bit so you guys can uh, fix fine-tune all your settings. But thank you guys so much again. And one more time, guys, if you come back to the controller settings, just scroll all the way down. Go down to vibration. Down one more time. X. And it opens it up for if you're still having trouble finding that. But yeah. Thank you guys so much. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like. Let's see if we can get this sucker to 100 likes or more. Um, and if you guys are new here, be sure to consider subscribing to the channel. Um, if you guys want more tips videos like this to improve your Apex Legends gameplay. And for me, Warlug, as always, stay gaming. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.